And welcome again to another episode. This time it's a gameplay episode, as well probably mentioned in the previous video. And uh, we are gonna play Zed because Zed got buffed a couple of patches in a row, actually. Well, not in a row, but he did get buffed overall. And uh, he's very fun to play. He's definitely very fun to play. He has good jungle clear right now. He's quite strong, actually. Uh, I would still prefer Kiana in climbing over Zed, but I do think Zed is also pretty good. So. Let's lock him in right away and let me check the runes. So I think what's good, Electro. Then I think Silent Impact is fine. Uh, Eyeball Collection is perfectly fine. Ultimate Hunter, um, so that ultimate, well, we just have ult as soon as possible or as often as possible. Then I still like Free Shoes and CDR. I think this is the page I will run on Z uh, this game. Uh, I also think it is quite fine to run Sorcery page and yeah, Water Walking. Actually, you know what? I will go with Sorcery. Instead of his shoes, I will go with Water Walking and Transcendence since I think the CDR is quite nice as well on the champion and Water Walking helps me with ganks a little bit. Uh, and the free shoes I can make by shoes earlier, attack speed, AD and armor. Everything is quite correct here. Let me check again. Yep, everything is as it should be. We have Amu and Kartus in the same team. I'm pretty excited actually. Uh, I waited 20 minutes in queue for this game. <laughs> so we will see how this game goes. Well. I will see you when the game starts, my friends. I'll see you when the game starts and we will cover basic Z knowledge right there. So the game started. I think we are gonna go with blue or red smite. We can kind of choose. Uh, well, red smite, red smite gives us ability to mm, be stronger over our skirmishes. So I think I'll go red smite. First ability to start is QRE. Uh, you choose, I don't think it's a big deal. So where do I wanna start? Bot side or top side? It's Wukong, Camille matchup and they have Ignite. I think I'll start blue. I think it's easier to start blue on the champion because energy regeneration makes your kill much, much, much better. Uh, uh, but uh, ganking Nami is probably easier than ganking Wukong, right? So if you are thinking about ganking, I think starting static red buff would make sense. If you are thinking very, very, um, in a very selfish way, I think starting uh, blue buff makes sense here. I also think Kartus has really good uh, leash here, right? So it makes sense to start the title of the map. On Z, you can early smite as well, just to start working passive. Yeah, so this is the OP thing about Z, right? As soon as the thing is 50%, you absolutely want to it. This is what they buffed. There's no cooldown on the passive, so starting now. One. Two and three. It's it's crazy. This is this is the better OP thing on Zed right now. It's it's like the jungle Q is actually super super crazy. I think it is better to take Q if you don't want to gank. But if you actually want to gank, I think taking W makes sense because without W, you of course, well, you don't really gank, right? You don't really do anything without W. And Tob is fighting quite a lot, so okay, he has no TP, so he has to stay. So I think he it's it's pretty much a free kill. I do not have Dark Harvest, but I can go from behind. Gwen is here. We can just ignore it and... I'm coming. I'm not sure if I'll be there in time. I mean, as, as long as I King Wukong, it doesn't matter. Gwen will get a kill as well, but... We can push here as well. I, I hope he is not gonna TP, otherwise he's just, you know, wasting his TP. Gwen is gonna stay. Oh, I'm trolling? No, I should be fine, but yeah. Okay, very important thing about Zed. I think if you get ahead, I think it's better to go Yomu Ghostblade, because Yomu Ghostblade gives you really, really good ganks. If you don't get ahead though, I think it makes sense to go uh, first item Prowlers, because Prowlers is better to try to kill people, and Yomu is better to gank people. Yomu gives you really good stats, it gives you that extra mind speed. Uh, did they take crap by any chance? I feel like they might have taken taken both, both crap enemy bot lane. Because they for some reason went into river and they never actually appeared again. Okay, that Amumu was very clean right there. Okay, I can dive him alone now. Electrocute proc here and uh, we have another kill. But well, the game is looking uh, good so far. The jungle clear is something you can do every game. You can repeat it every single game. Kills is something you can get every game. But keep in mind, be open-minded. Look at the lanes a lot. 
make sure you know what's the lane position make sure to to know which lanes need help which don't i really don't have hp please just leave me alone <laughs> i would like to find uh, and of course if you like the video make sure to like and subscribe and for more gameplay with the uh, different champions any champ you wanna see uh, please leave a comment down below i will consider these comments not always i do i um i am honest with you i wanted to record that because i do think he's one of the most more fun champions to play and he's also quite strong right now uh, but i'll definitely look into requests for the next video i'm gonna make q is very important so it hits every minion because that's your aoe clear along the e but i mean q more okay i'm six now so i could try to kill top here it is very diveable camille can tank with all you see camille is level six to this guy level five so oh camille failed Wait. Oh no. I trolled it. I trolled it. I definitely trolled it. I got kind of outplayed there. I, for some reason, I thought that he used his W, but he didn't. And then he used it last moment. Um, so I definitely trolled that. What do I do now? Do I buy shoes or Yomu first? Ah, oh, this is so hard. You know what I will do? I think I'll just wait for Yomu. Okay, this is very awkward. I don't think you should be wasting so much time in base. I think it made more sense to maybe just sell a potion, but I kind of want to keep my potion. So. Now I have better ganks. And also, my passive is 40 man speed out of combat, right? So without shoes, I have shoes. Oh, they see me, so I don't think the gang will work. Oh, well, we are forcing hard, I see. I missed everything I could here. Um, Nami is already 6. I doubt that this kill will happen. Okay, I don't wanna chase. This guy got six, so he was trying to kill, but... I will go back, I don't think I have to. There is a chance Corky will get a double. Keep in mind with Zed, that when you press... Ooh, isn't that a bit deep? <laughs> that is a little bit deep. Keep in mind with Zed, what is very important, or what can be quite important, is that you cannot press instantly ult when you ult someone. The only thing you can press is W. So try to set up your W in a way where if you ult, you can instantly fall off with W if you have to, or you can basically just disappear with W. And you can still do your combo uh, while, while not being close enough in range to get... Oh, really? That sucks. Am I gonna die here? I think I'm gonna die actually. Okay, well, I'm dead to Anivia. She used two sounds to kill me. You see, this is why you don't jump in with W. Uh, next item. Do I want... What do I really want in this game? I feel like I might just go CDR shoes, honestly. Or at least shoes. I think just having shoes is good. For the sake of running when, you know, I... Move. For the sake of running when I have to run. Oh, am I waiting in base again? Okay. I'm trolling, I'm trolling. But I'm gonna wait again. <laughs> I'll just wait in base again. Buy shoes instantly. My set is still uh, require. My set still requires a little bit of practice, so you might find me um, a little bit underwhelming sometimes. Oh my goodness! When the passive proc is so crazy, how much how fast it comes? I would like to help, trust me, but I don't have energy. Something to keep in mind is knowing your limits as well. Oh, I forgot she has an egg. For some reason I stopped chasing her because I thought, well, she's dead now. But she really had an egg. Oh, okay, she's dead. Um, okay, we have to be slightly more careful. Um, there is a lot of pet people in this game already, so we may have to be slightly slightly cautious about who do we fight and how do we fight. I think this card might be in big trouble as well. And next item, I think I'm gonna go crawlers because they don't have any shields, right? They don't have a, they have a heal, but they don't have shield. This oh, I know why, but every time I'm playing on the server, I'm always in. I, I can't just like play a safe game and I'm ahead. I always have to just keep in. Actually, on Wednesday it happens as well, so <laughs> it's not like a super weird thing. I think I just like running it. Up. Now that I think about it, I think I just like running it. Up. What card does? What what happens with card after mana minus? I think this is like Loki when I bought Okay, it seems like me and Corky will get the plates. Okay, Corky can keep pushing, I will leave. Maybe I'll do drag even. 
I don't even run into people. Keep in mind that Zed is an assassin, so if you run into people, you may actually die pretty easily. If people face shake you, that's perfect. If people, you know, don't face shake you, then there's just no reason to chase. I wonder if he's gonna keep pushing. I think he should. I think there's a high chance he will, so... Mm, I have to push one more wave. I think I should be able to do. Ay, 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 died. Wait, he's not dead? Oh my god, I can't believe it. I, I was thinking about flashing, but I didn't flash. You see, this is why making plays when you have so much gold is just not a good idea, guys. It's just, it's just straight up not. This guy is hitting 300 with Sander every Q, so uh, he's... Uh, Sometimes he looks weaker than he actually is. Anyway, next item. What do I want to go for? I mean, normally I'll go Serpent's Fang, but I really want Serpent's Fang or do I want something else? Okay, I'm almost getting some kills, that's nice. Some uh, very good kiting would have to be done to not die here. I, I'm pretty sure he, she, she will die here. Or maybe I go Grudge already, just because they will have armor in this game. It's not like they are full squishy. I think they will have a lot of armor. Oh, I don't know. Apparently my ult has really a lot of damage. I mean, I think he also misplayed that. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't have ult and the Momo was a little bit late to help me as well. I mean, he didn't actually do anything except for seeing the kill. <laughs> except for killing Lucian when he was already dead, he really did not help me. Uh, I think I will go Edge of the Night just because I feel like for skirmishes and for fights where I'm trying to assassinate someone, it will be a, a big help to not die so quickly and to also be able to go get CC. In this situation, if I have ult or if the guy doesn't have exhaust, I think that would be... Or a heal, I mean, that would be much, much easier, but... It, it became quite complicated there, definitely. Ooh, wow, Corky. I mean, I guess Corky is quite fat himself, isn't he? Uh -huh. I guess Corky is quite fat, yep. And Cartus is quite dead. Corky is quite fat, Cartus is quite dead. I'm moving though. Oh, that's going to be. Ooh, that's going to be a lot. Ooh, oh my goodness, Faker on Corky! That's Pog. That's total, total, total Pog. Now, you may ask yourself, why am I taking the blue buff if Corky is the one who is so strong? Well, Corky already has a blue buff from killing people, so he doesn't need a second. Yeah, I mean, perfectly, I think perfect play on this champ is if you can ult someone without using W. If you can save W to use it defensively, but you still get the ult on someone, I think that's like the best you can get. Please tell me that I don't die to ignite. <clears throat> but I do die to some Lucian that is just there for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, it's it's all good, all good. We are trading kills, so it's fine. I mean, I'm one and I'm eight and six. I should be not as this game. I should actually be smurfing this game, but I'm really not. Also, something to add that Zed is more of a. You can go first in a fight, but you have to realize that if you do go first, there's a high chance you will die. If you get CC'd or something, you instantly get one shot, right? So. When you're playing a champion like that, it is quite nice to maybe take a step back and wait for enemy to engage first and wait for them to blow their cooldowns on someone else. And then you are the one to go and then you are the one smurfing and not like me, just dying for no reason, non-stop. <laughs> okay, I have to join because this will be a fight. Oh, that would be a good ammo mode. I don't know, man. Cork and Cartus are quite strong together. Now I think it's not a bad idea to go Nash. So this was my last ultimate hunter proc and now my ulti my uh, cooldowns are at a point where... I mean, I think I should get it. This guy has a literally full blue. I should probably even smite it for HP, but... Okay, uh, let's base here. Let's go bot side. <sighs> I mean, I think it makes sense to buy a pink ward, but also to just build... Since they don't really have any shields, I think it makes sense to... Wait, did I just... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, well. <sighs> I 
I misplayed that, but he did have to flash. Oh, he's very cocky. Okay, wow, that was really good move from I'm gonna join. If I join this fight, if I get to join this fight. Oh, wow, that's, that's a little bit deep. I guess we have a lot of champions that can do this, so. I was trying to play this, but <laughs> I was about to like, look at the moves, you know, I was about to be a faker, god damn it, but I wasn't. <laughs> I forgot I'm just Yankos. <laughs> okay, I used Tavi instead of Eater, and that's why Wukong didn't die. And the healing from Sander is so annoying. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. I should have went on Wukong instantly. I think Gwen would never kill me there. Wukong was the, literally the only person who could kill me there, god damn it. Okay, I don't know, do I sell this item, or do I just wait for them to buy shields? Or do I go anti-healing item? Okay, well, there's no healing interaction from this item as well, so... I think I... I mean, I still honestly think that, like, the best I can get is... The Grudge. Wukong is so annoying in this game. I mean, it's very hard to kill compared to everyone else. That's like... Wow. That's a lot of damage. Hey, we didn't really use Anash, but at least we got the Drake, so there's still hope. I mean, there's a lot of inting going on. Wukong will be top, I think. Wukong is kind of impossible to kill. And I do think that Drake... Oh no, that didn't happen. Did wow, I just dabbed it a wall. Okay, well, the good thing is we got rid of GA. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I mean, I wanted to try my kill for Nami, right? I just wanted to make sure that Nami dies. I think Nami is actually pretty strong in this game, so trading my death for Nami uh, is not that bad. They cannot get vision on the map, and keep in mind that Drake is in 3 minutes, so because they cannot get vision on the map, they will ha no ha not have good vision on Drake. You know, this card is actually, if he can Q or ult or something, he will probably kill everyone as well. It's kind of hard to run into him. I mean, this card is still the strongest, just looking at the damage. I wish I could show you like the cleanest that gameplay ever. But you see, I'm just like you. I'm not so good. Uh, no offense, but I mean, I'm I'm inting a lot, right? So, you people, I, even pro players have to learn champions, you know? Sometimes you just have to take a step back and take it slow. Just like me in this game. I should take it slow, but instead I'm not and I'm inting. I was thinking that there is a chance I can kill him, but I see my mistake now and I'll not try it again, I think. I think he's the worst person I should try to assassinate. I mean, I guess people that use stopwatches are kind of annoying as well, but I mean, this guy is just, he's so tanky, you know? I think if I could combo him, like full, full combo a couple of times, he'll, he'll die, but... Um, maybe that though. Maybe not. I'm waiting and I'm hoping that Lucian is somewhere here. Are you here? Oh, I missed. Oh my god, I missed everything again. I just... I'm so... And why am I tanking? Okay, guys. Uh, I have to be honest with you, I don't think it was the cleanest Z gameplay ever, definitely not. A lot of missed abilities, a lot of ints, a lot of misplays. Uh, but the build, I kind of showcased. I think you can go Shulea Grudge, you can go the anti-shield item, you can go Umbral Glaive if you want. Um, I wouldn't really go Black Tiber and things like that. I think you should go either Lethality or Armor Panel, I think Edge of the Night is a fine item. And yeah, I think Z is one of the jungles that are currently very, very meta, so, you know. If you feel like it, you can definitely go ahead and play some Zed. I still think he's weaker than Kiana, right? I still, I still think that Kiana is just better for... Especially that she's getting buffed right now. Um, I think Kiana is just a better champion, but I think Zed is out there for you. So, you know, go ahead, grab him, have fun, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode, hopefully, right? See you next time. Have a nice day. Thank you.